There are several different seals in your stapler that guide the flow of air through the cylinder. This seal fits behind the piston ring to help seal the piston to the cylinder. All seals will deteriorate over time and begin to leak. Replacing the seal is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the top cap. Now remove the head valve assembly. Now remove the retainer. Now remove the cylinder and the piston. I'll just pull this out as one unit. Now I can remove the piston ring from the piston. And the seal that's behind it. I'll install the new seal, make sure it goes down into the groove, and then replace the piston ring. Before I install the driver assembly back into the cylinder, I want to lubricate the cylinder. I'll use a little bit of air tool oil to do that. Just spread that around so I have a nice even coat in the cylinder. Now I can slide the driver and piston assembly into the cylinder. I'll push this through so it's about halfway, so the piston's about halfway through the cylinder. That'll make it easier to line up the driver with the opening in the nose piece in the gun when we reassemble this assembly. The bumper fell out of the gun during disassembly, so now I'll go ahead and reinstall the bumper into the bottom of the cylinder. And Now this is ready to go back into the gun. I'll line the driver with the nose piece, now I can slide all of this into the gun, and I'll press it down until the cylinder seats. Now reinstall the retainer. And I'll finish up by reassembling the head. First comes the head valve, then the cap, the filter, and the top cover. And that's all it takes to replace the piston seal on your stapler. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.